I'm on my way to a permanent place of prosperity. Amen. Uh, one of the things concerning um, possessing land is because of the simple fact that land represents permanence. Um, land represents stability. Um, anytime you hear the Bible talks about God taking you to into a land, it is a place of permanent dwelling. It is not a place that is inconsistent or unstable. Um, because you can have property and property can be torn down. Property uh, can go from one person to the next. But when you own the land... It is a place of power. It is a place of stability. It is a place of domination. And so, glory to God, God is getting His people into a place and uh, where we can begin to once again operate in dominion. Somebody say dominion. I don't know who God is talking to in here this morning, but God told me to tell you that I'm taking you into your own land. Your own place, your own residence, your own, glory to God, space in the earth, your own own habitation. Somebody say, I'm on my way. I don't know what you're going through this morning as you sit into the house of the Lord, but you need to understand that you're in the process of going to your own land, a permanent place. And it's a place of power. It's a place of stability. It's a place where you no longer operate in season, even though there's a time and the season and a place for everything. But there is a place, there is a place you can reach in God where your prosperity becomes permanent. It doesn't shift. It doesn't fluctuate from one season to the next. But woman of God, it becomes permanent. It becomes glory to God. When you begin to step into a realm, that, that becomes your consistent flow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fluctuate, glory to God, up and down. It doesn't fluctuate from summer, winter, spring, and fall. It becomes a permanent place because you have reached your promised land. Yeah. Uh, what you don't understand, glory to God, is that whoever owns the land controls the wealth. Because I don't care, oh, glory to God, what you sit on top of the land. If I own the land, glory to God, then I control what sits on top of the land. I know that we'll get excited when God begins to tell us that he's going to bless us with homes and buildings and I want that. That's the blessing. But God said, I want you to be able to own the land because the land is a place of power. The land is a place of prosperity that is locked in time. Because when God begins to take you, glory to God, and begins to give you land, what he is doing is reestablishing your, oh, your power of dominion. What am I talking about? Because God in the beginning gave the earth to man. Glory to God. He gave rulership and dominion to Adam and Eve. And so when God begins to give you land, he begins to give you small increments of dominion. It is the restoration of dominion because God gave you the power to rule the earth. And so when God begins to bless me with land, I'm now in a position of prosperity and it is permanent because I can pass down land to, from generation to generation. And what we don't understand is that you're going through the progress of prosperity because prosperity is progressive. What am I talking about? God is progressively taking you through different stages of development, but you're on your way to a promised land. It is a specific place in the earth that already has your DNA in it. It is a specific place in the earth that is already weighed on you. It is a place of generational wealth that will pass down to your children's children. Look at somebody say, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. I don't care how, glory to God, inconsistent your life is. I don't care how your life is fluctuating up and down. God told me to tell you this morning, you're on your way. Because prosperity is a process. And God said, I'm taking you. I feel God in this place. To 